Here are four excellent tools in the V-Ray frame buffer that you don't want to miss. So number one is depth of field in our frame buffer. Turn on depth of field and we can start an interactive render. Now for depth of field, you want to tell the camera what you want to be in focus and you could do that manually in the viewport or you could use alt click and let V-Ray work it out for you. So I'm holding alt and if I click at the back here on these dials, you'll see that that area is now in focus and here is all blurred. And if I alt click on, let's say this dial at the front, you'll see that this is all in focus and it's blurred at the back. Now, if you want to increase or decrease the blur amount, the thing that controls this is the f-stop number. So the lower this goes, the more blurry the image will be. So if we turn this down to four, we're going to see that the image gets blurrier, but it also gets brighter. So you could manually try to adjust the ISO or the shutter speed to compensate for this. Or again, you can let V-Ray do the hard work for you. In the V-Ray settings, we can just turn on auto exposure. So now we can see that that is really blurry. And that's how we can really quickly control the depth of field within the frame buffer. Next up is bloom and glare. And just by turning that on in the lens effects, that's gonna look pretty sweet. But there's so much more here that you can do. You can turn it on and off using this eyeball. The size and the intensity do exactly as they say. And the bloom is blends the glare. So the lower this goes, you're gonna start seeing these streaks. But what's really cool is down here in the aperture shape, we can turn on peripheral grating. And this is a real world lens effect and you can control the settings in this length down here. So we don't wanna pump it up too much, but you can see what that's doing. And I'm also a big fan of the lens scratches. So if we turn that on, we can see what that's doing and we don't have to stick with that. You can actually change the patterns here. So stripes is pretty cool. You've got square and hexagon. And you can change the density here. And just like the lens scratches, you've also got lens dust and that just adds some dust to the lens and you can also change the pattern here. So you don't have to stick to the standard bloom and glare. You can customize it and get some really nice effects. And did you know you could actually do your composite in within the V-Ray frame buffer? So I've already added a couple of elements and rendered out this image using bucket as the crypto map will only work with a bucket render. So if we go down to source and we go to composite, we can start adding our render elements as we would in Photoshop. So we've got the RGB color on the bottom and then I'm gonna add another render element and we can choose our V-Ray ambient occlusion, which we can change this to multiply. So normally I'd go into Photoshop and add this, but you can see we can just add it in frame buffer now. And we can do the same with a reflection and let's choose the V-Ray reflection. And if I turn that on and off, you can see what's happening on this desk. And what's really great about this is that if we move the headphones, for example, this is all gonna update as well. And we can use masks as well. If you wanna use masks like in Photoshop, we have to render a crypto matte render element. If we go to our composite and let's just add a color balance, for example, we can just crank that up to red and we can see that it's making the whole image red, but we can actually use this crypto matte mask. If we click on pick and we pick the object we wanna change the color of, we can see that the top of this headphones have gone red and you can actually turn on show preview when selected. And then we could add, say another hue and saturation. And again, add the crypto matte mask and pick this. And then in the properties, we could pump up that saturation. We could even change the hue and make it whatever color we want. So if you like this video, then like this video. 